Alex wanted to learn English. He thought it would be easy. But soon, he found it hard. He would learn a word and forget it quickly. One day, his friend Emma saw him looking frustrated. She asked, What's wrong, Alex? Alex sighed, I want to remember English words, but I keep forgetting them. Emma smiled and said, Don't worry, Alex. I can help you. She told him that learning new words takes time. The first tip, she said, is repetition. Repeat words many times. But don't just say them over and over. Alex looked curious. Then how should I do it? Emma explained, try spaced repetition. Learn the word. Then review it after 10 minutes, then after a few hours, and finally, the next day. Alex thought this was smart. He decided to try it with his new words. I'll try this tonight, he said with a smile. The next day, Alex met Emma again. Did you try spaced repetition, she asked. Yes, said Alex. It helped me remember the words longer. Emma was happy to see his progress. Good. Now let's talk about using words in your daily life, she said. Emma told Alex, when you learn a new word, use it in a sentence. Alex thought about this. So, if I learn the word a calm, I could say, the weather is calm today, right? Emma nodded. Exactly. The more you use the word, the easier it is to remember. Alex found this idea helpful. That evening, he looked at the words he learned. He made sentences with each one. This is fun, he thought. He felt proud using new words in his own sentences. It made learning feel real. But Alex still had some trouble. Some words felt hard to remember. He asked Emma for advice. Emma said, try to make each word personal. Connect it to something in your life. Alex was confused. What do you mean, he asked. Emma explained, think of a time when the word describes you. For example, if he learned resilient, he could remember a time he was strong. Alex thought about it and said, I understand. I will try it with my new words. Alex went home and thought about his words. He tried to link each word to his life. This word means something now, he said. He felt the words were easier to remember when they connected to his own life. Alex was happy with this new tip. A few days later, Alex felt confident. But he still had trouble with some words. Emma noticed and asked, Are you learning words alone or in sentences? Alex said, Just words. Emma smiled and said, Try learning them in sentences. Emma explained, words are easier to remember in context. When you learn astonished, use it like, I was astonished by the view. Alex found this helpful. He started learning words with sentences, not alone. It made a big difference. Now, Alex enjoyed making sentences. He felt he was learning better. But one day, he had trouble remembering again. Emma saw him and said, try making pictures in your mind. Alex was curious. How does that help? He asked. Emma said, when you learn a word, imagine a picture. For example, joyful. Think of someone jumping with joy. Alex liked this idea. He thought it would make words more fun to remember. I'll try it with my new words, he said. That night, Alex tried picturing each word. He felt the words stick better in his memory. The pictures helped him remember more easily. This is amazing, he thought. He couldn't wait to tell Emma about his success.
The next day, Alex thanked Emma. The pictures worked, he said. Emma was glad to see his progress. Great! Now, try using tricks to remember hard words. Alex was curious. What kind of tricks? he asked. Emma explained, they are called mnemonics. For example, gregarious means friendly. Think of a friend named Greg who likes to talk. Alex laughed. He liked the idea. He tried making his own mnemonics for his new words. Alex found mnemonics helpful. Now, hard words felt easier. He could remember them quickly. He felt proud of his progress. Every day, he felt more confident. He knew he was getting better at learning English. But Alex wanted more practice. Emma said, try using flashcards. Alex had heard of flashcards, but never used them. Emma showed him how to make simple flashcards with words on one side and meanings on the other. Alex made his own flashcards that night. He liked the idea of reviewing words anytime. I can take these anywhere, he thought. He started reviewing his flashcards on the bus and during breaks. It helped him remember words. Soon, Alex felt even better. The flashcards were working well. Emma suggested trying apps like Onki or Quizlet. Alex was excited. I'll try them, he said. He downloaded the apps and started using them for spaced repetition. Alex found the apps easy to use. He could review words anywhere. He felt proud of himself for trying new ways to learn. Emma was happy for him. She knew Alex would become a great English speaker one day. Alex kept using all the tips Emma gave him. He practiced every day. He used words, made pictures, and reviewed his flashcards. Day by day, he felt his English getting stronger. I'm learning so much, he thought. Alex wanted to thank Emma. He told her, without you, learning English was hard. But now, it is fun and easy. Emma was proud of him. You did the work, Alex. Keep going, and you will reach your goals. One day, Alex met a new friend who also wanted to learn English. Alex shared all the tips he learned. These tips help me, and they will help you too, he said. He felt proud to share his knowledge. Now, Alex and his new friend practiced together. They used all the tips, repetition, making sentences, creating pictures, using flashcards, and more. Learning was now a shared adventure. They were excited to learn together. With time, Alex and his friend became better at English. They remembered more words, used them easily, and had fun. Alex realized that learning English was not just about words, but also about connecting with people. Every day, Alex continued practicing. He remembered Emma's words, learning takes time. He knew he would keep learning English his whole life. Alex was ready for the journey, and he was happy to keep going. In the end, Alex thanked Emma again. He said, learning English was hard, but with your help, it became easy and fun. Emma smiled. She was happy to see Alex grow. Alex now knew that learning English could be fun if you use the right tips. He was excited to continue his journey. And he knew that he could help others learn too. Alex was proud of himself and ready for new words. And so, Alex's story of learning English continues. He practiced every day and shared his tips with friends. Alex knew that he could achieve anything if he kept trying. His journey had just begun. Learn. Meaning, to gain knowledge or skill. Example sentence, Alex wants to learn English. 
Repeat. Meaning, to do or say something again. Example sentence, Alex repeats the words to remember them. Review. Meaning to look over something again, to understand better. Example sentence, he reviews his notes to check his understanding. Use. Meaning to apply or make use of something. Example sentence, he tries to use new words every day. Link. Meaning to connect two things together in thought or action. Example sentence, he links each word with a personal memory. Remember. Meaning to keep information in mind. Example sentence, he remembers the words better with Emma's help. Say. Meaning to express something in words. Example sentence, Emma says learning takes time. Think. Meaning to have an idea or opinion in mind. Example sentence, Alex thinks about his progress every day. Help. Meaning to assist or make things easier. Example sentence, Emma helps Alex by giving him good advice. Practice. Meaning to do something regularly to improve. Example sentence, Alex practices new words with flashcards. Make. Meaning to produce or cause something to exist. Example sentence, he makes sentences with each new word. Imagine meaning to form a picture in the mind. Example sentence, Alex imagines pictures to remember words. Try. Meaning to make an effort to do something. Example sentence, he tries different methods to learn. Follow. Meaning to do what someone else advises or instructs. Example sentence, Alex follows Emma's tips closely. Stay. Meaning to remain in one place or condition. Example sentence, he stays motivated to learn English. Weighty meaning to remain until something expected happens. Example sentence, he waits patiently to see his progress. Carry. Meaning to bring something with you from one place to another. Example sentence, Alex carries flashcards wherever he goes. Associate. Meaning to link in mind or associate meaning with. Example sentence, he associates words with his life. Understand. Meaning to grasp or comprehend the meaning of something. Example sentence Alex understands more words each day. Create. Meaning to bring something new into existence. Example sentence he creates sentences to practice new words. Congratulations. You followed Alex's journey to learn English. Together, we explored some important words from his story. Don't forget to check out the vocabulary list we prepared to help you memorize these words and reinforce their meanings. Reviewing this list regularly and trying to use each word in daily life can make a big difference in your learning. To improve your English, we highly recommend watching this video multiple times. Each time, you may notice new details and strengthen your understanding of the vocabulary and techniques. If you enjoyed our video, please hit the like button. And for more content to help you on your English learning journey, subscribe to our channel. We are here to support you with new videos every step of the way. Remember, practice is the key to learning. Keep revisiting this video and vocabulary list, and you'll see your English skills improve little by little. Good luck!